quickly before I start this video, uh, I just wanted to mention that there is a form in the top line of the description. Um, I would really like you to fill this out. It's to do with my uh, college project. Uh, nothing to do with YouTube, but it would just really help me out if you could quickly just take two minutes out of your time and just fill that out quickly. But now we will get on with the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, um, as you saw by the title, I will be showing you how to build a cheap and quick airport that you can build in under a day. If you want to see how to build a more advanced and more expensive airport, um, I've made a tutorial for that as well. It will be linked at the end of this video. Uh, but a lot of people are complaining about how much everything costs. So for today's video, we're going to be focusing on really cheap, low budget airports. Um, and this can be made really quickly. Getting straight into it now, the first thing you will need for today's video is a foam board. Now foam board is one of the best materials you can make a temporary airport out of as it's light, cheap and very easy to store in like a cupboard or even against a wall. This can be found at high-end hardware stores like B&Q for you British people or Home Depot for uh, you Americans. If you live anywhere else in the world just go to your local uh, hardware store and it should be there. It can also be found in hobby shops like Hobbycraft for the British and Michaels for you Americans. Now for this project I was unable to find any foam board so in the end I bought a really thin piece of wood. Uh, this does also work but be careful if you are going to use a thin piece of wood as it bends really easily. So um, I would recommend a foam board over a thin piece of wood uh, but if it comes to it it won't matter if you do get a thin piece of wood instead. I also quickly spray painted the wood white, as white is the colour of the foam board, so from now on I'm just going to pretend this is a giant piece of foam board, um, so pretend I never mentioned that this was a piece of wood, from now on this is a piece of foam board. There are two ways of doing this, there is what I like to call the super budget airport and the budget airport. For the super budget airport all you will need is the foam board, a pencil, a ruler, a razor and sharpies. However for the budget airport you can get a little more advanced with some grey spray paint and also some paint pens. Links for these will be in the description. For the purpose of showing how both airports are made I will now theoretically cut my foam board in half. Uh, I will dedicate each half to each of the variations of how I built this budget airport. If you are building the budget airports now would be the time to spray paint your board grey. Uh, it's always good to spray paint in a very open or ventilated area. Luckily for me behind my house lies a ginormous field uh, but after this it's time to get your pencils out. The next step is required for both airports and now this is time for you to plan out where your terminal is going to go. You can draw it in some sharpie um, and then you're going to want to lay all of your planes around the uh, terminal uh, as if they were going to be there when it's actually finished. Once this is done you can lift them up one by one and mark down in pencil where the center line of your gate will go. My airport today is based off of Buffalo Airport in New York State. Uh, it's a little smaller than the real life Buffalo Airport uh, but it's around the same kind of size. After you've done this it is now time to draw your center line with whatever equipment you require. For the super budget airport uh, you can either just use a black sharpie like I've done or you can step your game up a little bit and use a yellow one. For the more advanced side of the airport you should use a yellow paint pen. After you've gone round and done this with every single gate, uh, it's then time to draw the gate outlines. I will have templates at the end of this video, but gate markings are pretty easy to figure out. The best way is to go onto Google Earth uh, and see what size and shape the gates are at the airport you are trying to recreate. Just go around, take your time, make sure you don't mess up, draw it in pencil first and then go over in either red uh, paint pen or Sharpie um, or even red Sharpie or black Sharpie. I've gone with black Sharpie but if you want to get a little bit more advanced uh, you can of course go with red Sharpie. 
After that you can draw smaller details like taxiway lines and hold short lines but if you wanted to take this to another level try adding grass to your layout by either using a roll of modeling grass or gluing down loose grass like you see me doing now. But that is it, I hope this video was very helpful um, and I wish you luck if this is what you're going to try and do, if you're going to try and build one of these for yourself. If you have any further questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to try and get back to them. I do wish you luck. Um, I will leave the gate templates at the end now. There are a few variations for different types of aircraft. Just pick the one that fits your airport and uh, yeah, go with that. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I know it was a bit short, uh, but I hope this was enough to get you started. Uh, I want to remind you again with the, there is a more advanced tutorial um, that will be linked to the end of the video and in the description. I do want to also remind you again that um, the survey in the top line of the description, please go fill that out if you have the time, it will be very helpful. Um, I'm just trying to get up to about 150 responses and so I thought you know, YouTube is kind of the best place to kind of advertise that. So please, I encourage you to go fill that out. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video, I hope you did enjoy and I will see you in the next video. Bye.